Hello guys, this is Himanshu from Code Campaign, and we are continuing with our binary tree module. So today we are going to discuss the bottom view of the binary tree. So if you see, uh, this is the bottom view of binary tree problem, and this particular question is being asked uh, in the companies like Paytm, Amazon, Flipkart, Walmart, Coupon Dunia, right? So this is a, a very important question, and that's why we are discussing it. So uh, all the traditional questions that I have discussed so far or I am going to discuss in the future uh, videos are very important and they are being asked into the uh, interviews of the big companies like Amazon again and again because this is the basic <clears throat> of the data structure and algorithm. So if you don't understand all this, uh, you will not be able to even survive in these companies, right? So uh, that's why these questions have been asked in uh, the interviews of Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook or Google, they may not even ask this question, but they will ask this question in a disguise or in some other way. But most of the questions, all the questions will be <clears throat> based on these kind of problems only. Okay. So uh, before watching this video, I will highly recommend that you go back and watch the video of the vertical order traversal and the top view of the binary tree. Okay, so what does the bottom view of the binary tree says? So suppose we are given this binary tree and if we look from the bottom side to the tree, uh, we have to print the bottom view. So the bottom view for this tree will be, let's again draw the vertical lines. So uh, if you had uh, watched the video for the vertical order traversal and the top view, then you might uh, you will be familiar why I'm drawing this line. So let's draw the lines here again. And L5, right? And just write the vertical order traversal for this tree. So vertical order L1 we have four. L2 we have two. L3 we have one, five, six. L4 we have 3, 8 and L5 we have 7. So, <clears throat> so what is the bottom view if we see from here? We have to take the last elements. So this is our bottom view of the tree. Right? And uh, if you remember the previous video, what was the top view of the tree? So let me just change the ink here. So what was the top view of the tree? The top view of the tree was this. Right? So in the top view of the tree, what we were doing, we were taking the elements which came first. And in the bottom view of the tree, what we are doing, we are taking the elements which came last. Right? So this is the only difference. And if you want to see it practically, so if you see the tree from the bottom, this is the view you will look, right? This is the view you will see. You will see four, then you will see two. Then here, five and six, they both are on the same level. So we'll take six, right? Because six comes last. And then uh, then we will see from in the, on this line, we will see eight. And then on this line, we'll see seven, right? So, so the bottom view will be four. 2, 6, 8, 7, right? Now let's take one more example to understand it more better. So again, we'll do the same thing. We will draw the lines. So L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, okay, so these are the five. So now let's again print the vertical order traversal. So four, two, one, five, six, three, eight, ten. Seven, 
11 9 and 12 okay so what will be the uh, bottom view of the tree we will consider only the last elements so this will be the bottom view of the tree so if you see it from here you will see uh, you will see 4 you will see 2 here we have to take the element which came last so this will be 6 then again here we have to take the element which came last so it will be 10 and then in this case it will be 11 and in this case it will be 12 right so which is the same thing right so 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 and the and the again the in the previous video what we saw the let's what was the top view of the tree the top view of the tree was 4 2 this was the top view the top view was 4 2 1 3 7 now whatever element came, element came first and here we what we have to consider whatever elements that came last right so these two the top view of the tree and the bottom view of the tree are both very similar problem so now let's go ahead and see how we are going to imp implement the uh, bottom view of the tree okay so as you guys already familiar with up till now that to solve these kind of problem what we do we take one queue and we need to take one sorted map where key is the distance is the distance from the root of a particular node and the values are the tree value will be the tree node right so okay this is the same thing that we did in our top um, top view of the binary tree also right so let's again uh, write the distances so node will be at 0 this will be at 0 minus 1 minus 1 this will be at 0 plus 1 plus 1 this will be at minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 this will be at minus 1 plus 1 0 this will be at plus 1 minus 1 0 this will be at plus 2 and this will be at plus 1 right so again uh, we'll do the same thing we'll first put our root and its distance into the queue and then what we'll do we'll uh, take the element from the <coughs> front of the queue and then we'll check if the particular key exists in our key or uh, if the particular key exists in our uh, map or not so it doesn't exist so we'll enter both of these things then what we'll do we'll in uh, we'll uh, input the left and the right child into our queue so the left child is 2 and the distance is minus 1 right child is 3 and the distance is plus 1 right then again what we'll do we'll remove 2 from the front of this queue and then we'll check if minus n exists here if it doesn't exist so we'll enter this here and then we'll uh, insert its child into the queue so 4 minus 2 5 0 then we'll again take 3 uh, from the front of the queue and we'll check if plus 1 key exists into the moment doesn't exist so we'll insert both of these and then we'll insert the child of 3 into the queue which is 6 0 7 plus 2 then we'll again take the element from the front of the queue which is 4 and we'll check if minus 2 exists in this or not it doesn't exist so we'll enter mm -hmm. now we'll uh, try to put the left and the right child of 4 into the queue as they doesn't exist so we'll not do anything then we'll take the 5 from the front of the queue and then we'll check if 0 uh, key exists into the map yes 0 exists so what we'll do we'll replace 1 by 5 
so here we will replace one by five in the top uh, in the top view of the tree what we were doing we were uh, not inserting the element into the we are just ignoring the uh, node uh, if the key already there into the map but here what we will do if the key is already there into the map we will replace the node okay so then we'll check if five left or right shell exists it doesn't exist so we'll not do anything we'll take six out of from the front of the queue and we'll check if zero already exists into the map or not yes yeah, zero exists so we'll replace five with six cool then we'll check if the left child of the six exists no but the right child of the six exists so we'll enter the right child into the queue and its distance <coughs> After this, we'll take the seven out of the queue and we'll check if plus two key exists, doesn't exist, so we'll insert it here. Then we'll check if the left child or the right child exit doesn't exist, so we'll skip. Then we'll take eight out of the queue and we'll check if plus one exists into the map. Yeah, plus one exists, so we'll replace three by eight, right? and we'll check if the left or the right child of the eight exists it doesn't exist after this we don't have any element into the queue so our algorithm will end now uh, as you already know this is the sorted dictionary so we will print the keys so uh, this is the sorted dictionary so it will give us the key in the increasing order so first we'll get minus two and the value of minus two is four then we'll get minus one and the value of minus one well, uh, key is two then we'll get zero and the value of zero key is six then we'll get plus one key and the value of plus one key is eight then we'll get plus two key and the value of plus two key is seven okay so i think there is some problem with my laptop okay so this is our uh, bottom view of the tree as you can see four two six eight and seven okay so i hope now you understood <clears throat> how to implement the bottom view of the tree now let's go ahead and write the code for this algorithm okay so this is where we left our id in the last video while we write the top view of the binary tree okay so <clears throat> what we have what i'm going to do i'm just copying the code of the top view of the binary tree so now you guys uh, will see like whatever videos or whatever homework that we had done in the previous videos how it's going to pay off so like a lot of different uh, traversals of the binary tree are uh, dependent on like are, are pretty similar to each other so like the bottom view of the binary tree is pretty much similar to the top view of the binary tree so <clears throat> you will see here i will uh, like i will make only one line change and this code will be converted into the bottom view of the binary tree the top view of the binary tree code will be converted to the bottom view of the binary tree so uh, let's see the difference so let's go back here okay so what what we are doing here um, if the key is existing into the um, uh, our sorted dictionary we were replacing the node but in the top uh, in the top view of the binary tree if the key was already existing into the sorted binary tree we were not inserting the node we were ignoring the node right so if you see in this code if the if the map contains the <coughs> key if the map doesn't contains the key we were inserting the key and if the map contains the key we were not doing anything but <coughs> in case of uh, uh, in case of uh, in case of uh, bo bottom view what we have to do we have to uh, 
uh, if the key is already existing we have to replace the key that's all we have to do right so only so we will just replace the key that's all so that's all this is this is all we need to do for the bottom we have the binary tree so let's go ahead and run the code and check if this thing works so I'm just converting the oh, I'm just commenting the top view of the binary tree let's call our traversal util okay now let's run the code okay uh, now match the output so let's see four four two two six six eight eight seven so that means our code works so and the uh, time complexity uh, and the space complexity so in the top view of the boundary the space complexity was o n and the time complexity was n log n this this comp time complexity and the space complexity will also will remain the same in the bottom view of the boundary tree as well okay so that's all for this video let's go ahead and check in our code So let's add it. Let's commit bottom view of binary tree. Let's push it over remote branch. Okay, so we pushed our code to our remote branch. So that's it for this video guys uh, uh, Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed like the video if you uh, if, if it helped you uh, <clears throat> If you have any query, please put it into our comment box and uh, uh, I will again uh, suggest you to go back and watch the vertical order traversal and the top view of the boundary tree if you could not understand this video because this video is pretty simple if you have understood the previous videos very well so thank you for watching my video